Hello guys, welcome to another video, and it's a short one today about a few trial of the Ancestors exclusive items and how they've seemingly found themselves as part of the Affliction League loot table. You may remember a few weeks ago we received a post from GGG discussing the future of the Trial of the Ancestors League mechanic and all of the content relating to that mechanic. And in that post they talked about the exclusive unique items that you could be rewarded with from the various chieftains at the end of the tournament, and most of the Hinakora specific tournament victory uniques that appeared on the plinths at the very end, such as Defiance of Destiny. All of those, except for the ones that are tied to tattoos, have gone into the core drop pool of uniques in 3.23 Affliction League. And in that post they also talked about tattoos, omens and Hinakora's locks. On this topic, they said that these items wouldn't be deleted at the end of 3.22, but any remaining ones would persist in Standard League and get progressively more scarce. This was a pretty obvious indicator to me that Tattoos, Omens and Hinakora's locks weren't going core, at least not in 3.23. However, something has changed in the time between this post and the launch of the Affliction League. Because in the Affliction League, you can actually find Omens, and very rarely, Hinakura's Locks as well. Now, I'm not 100% sure if these drops are tied to the Wisp Empowered mechanic from Affliction, but in the case of Hinakura's Lock, it appears that these are now part of the core drop pool, which is crazy to me. There was a patch note that changed Hinakura's Locks from being able to foresee the result of corrupting an item using the Altar of Corruption in the Incursion Temple, and perhaps GGG are happy enough for this very rare and powerful currency to go core now that this change is in place, as it did seem like this is kind of one of the more broken and abusable ways to make use of it. And as for the omens, well, I was a little bit out of the loop it seems in the time leading up to the launch of 3.23, because this information was actually in the item filter data that they released, and usually I'm cheering on Neversync as he prepares the Filter Blade website for the new league, but I've just been really busy recently. But really surprising to me here is the Omen of Fortune making a return. I thought that we would never see that again, as it does kind of limit design space for unique items and their power level. In the past, if you may remember with the Trash to Treasure prophecy, GGG just had to flood the unique item pool with essentially trash uniques to prevent trash to treasure from always providing the unique that you wanted to get. It will be interesting to see if these stay around in the long run. As I said before, I'm not 100% sure that these are core drop ball items or if they're tied to the empowered wisp mechanic. For Hinakora's locks, based on what I've seen, I think they are likely just in the base drop ball of the game. Have you found an omen or Hinakora's lock? Let me know how you found it below. And how is your league start going? If you missed my post, my Flamewood Ignite Chieftain has passed into Standard League. Rip to that guy. It was a fun league start for me. When I died, I was the rank 3 chieftain in HCSSF. But I'll be rolling a new character later. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be going for just yet. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.